Hello there, and in this video we're going to briefly review what we talked about in the last video in regards to input and output uh, to the command console in C++. And in this video we'll also introduce uh, while loops, uh, which is very useful in catching uh, potential errors that are caused by the user. So we're going to begin by creating the main scope of the program. Begin by typing include iostream. This is going to allow us to input data from the keyboard and output data to the uh, screen uh, using namespace std. Uh, we'll talk about this in more detail at a later time. Our main function where we put all our code, uh, at least at the time being, and then return zero, which we describe in detail at a later time. All right, so this program, which we're going to sort of run uh, in this video, is going to be sort of a, a bettered version of the one that we did in the last video. So we're going to begin by creating uh, variables x and y, and we're going to call them float variables. So remember the difference between int and float. Float will allow us to have decimals, whereas int only allows us to have integers. And we're going to add, subtract, multiply, and divide them. So we're going to begin by asking the user, what is the values of x and y for which you want to add, subtract, multiply, and divide? So enter the value of x is going to be the first output. And then we're going to read in the value for x. Then we're going to ask the user, enter the value for y. And then we're going to read in that value of y. So once we have inputted those values into the computer, then we're going to add, subtract, multiply, divide, and display them. So we're going to begin by um, creating an empty line uh, between the input, uh, input lines and the output lines. So the first thing that we're going to say is the sum, x plus y, is going to be equal to, and then we're going to output the sum, x plus y. And then we're going to go down to another line. So see out the difference, x minus y, is going to be equal to, and then we're going to output the difference, x minus y. Then we're going to go down to another line. Then we're going to display the product, so product, product, x times y is going to be equal to, and then we'll output our product, x times y. And then we'll display the quotient. Quotient, x divided by y, is going to be equal to x divided by y. And then we'll end uh, the program. Now remember, uh, once it displays all this stuff, it will exit the program. Uh, so a good thing to do is pretty much, you know, uh, say, uh, enter a number press enter to exit the program. And then we'll wait for an input of one of the, what are one of the values. So let's run this program just to make sure this does exactly what we intended to do. All right, so enter value of x, so let's say 4.2 and y, let that be 0 0.6. And then it's gonna give us the sum difference product and quotient, which are all of course correct. So there is one possible error that may occur uh, in this program, and that's when we divide by zero. Now, definitely the C++ program does output some value, but it's not really that useful. It gives us this one dot hashtag inf, uh, which is pretty much represents infinity, but infinity is not a number. Uh, so it can be misleading to a person who doesn't have a math background. So what we want to do is pretty much avoid uh, this potential uh, value. Uh, so to avoid this, we can use what we call while loops. So in order to use while loop, let's start off with a float uh, defining y to be equal to zero. So a while loop is constructed as follows. So while y is equal to zero, and we'll dis uh, discuss exactly why we use double equal signs in just a second. So while y is equal to zero, we're going to see out, well, while y is equal to zero, well, we're, what are we going to do? We're gonna put this in the input area of the code. So while y is equal to zero, we'll ask the user to input the value for y. All right, so what exactly are we doing now and what is so different about this program? So of course we enter the value for x and then while y is equal to zero, so what is this? So y is defined to be equal to zero at the very beginning of the program. So when we get to this line, it looks at the value of y, which is zero, 
it looks at the value of zero, which is of course zero, and this equal sign, it compares these two values to see if they are equal. If this statement in parentheses is true, then this while loop will continue as long as that stays true. So y is equal to zero by definition. So we're going to enter this val uh, enter this you know interaction. So we input the value of y. So if y is again equal to zero, that is you know the user is trying to divide by zero, then this loop is going to stay active. But once this y value is not zero, that means this statement here is not going to be true, and then it's going to exit, and then it's going to display the sum, difference, product, and quotient. So let's see this in action. So let us define uh, x. So x is going to be equal to 8. y is going to be equal to 0. Uh, but notice this says into the value of y, so you input 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and you're like, oh, I don't understand. And then you enter 3, and then it actually does exactly what you want. So what if you don't actually know why it's keep on repeating this value of y? So if the value of y is equal to 0, so if y is actually equal to 0, we need to, you know, communicate that, you know, you can't div cannot divide by 0. You cannot divide by 0. And then we'll go to another line, and now our program will communicate to the user that, okay, uh, you cannot divide by 0, 0, 0, 0, and eventually they'll get the hint, and then we'll input, you know, some other value for y, and then it's going to calculate all these values, um, which are should be correct. So that's pretty much one way to sort of bypass error prevention, uh, which is this. So this is error prevention, prevention of dividing by 0. And this is one of the applications uh, that while loops can be used for.